Hello and welcome, my name is Martyr and this is my one year anniversary video and thank you for watching. Let me start by saying I cannot believe how fast time has gone by guys. It's been a roller coaster from when I first started this thing back in August 9th, 2013. This entire crazy ass idea of starting a, a gaming let's play channel. And what I wanted to say first off and foremost was thank you to the viewers and subscribers and supporters and the gaming community in general who's always been such a wonderful positive reinforcement. Uh, during this entire thing guys actually I have uploaded over 600 videos guys and I just it's been crazy how much how many things I've learned and how much I've improved from my first video to now guys and none of that would have probably been possible if it wasn't for you guys so this is my chance to kind of give back to you guys to, with this one video and basically what I wanted to do with this video was I wanted to share with you the things that I have learned in the one year that I have been doing YouTube so I basically want, it's kind of like my way of giving back to you guys. So I want to present to you Martyr's Top 10 Rules for Surviving YouTube. Why 10? Why not 15? Why not 20? Well, 10's a good round number and I think it'll be fun, short and sweet, and I won't bore you to death. So basically, this is the way this is going to work, guys, is I'm going to present to you these uh, 10 rules from the least important that I feel to the most important. Of course, this is all my own personal opinion and is not meant to be taken too seriously, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And again, remember, this is all from my personal experience of what I've learned from the one year that I've been doing YouTube. So rule number 10, go outside, let go. This is kind of the oxymoron of the rules, which is why it's number 10, which is the exact opposite of doing YouTube. It's about letting YouTube go. Basically going outside, guys, and seeing your family. And yes, I know that you may think, oh, spending time with my family is so lame. But no, it's actually the exact opposite of lame. It's healthy, guys. It's healthy to go outside. It's healthy to go spend some time with your friends. It's healthy to just take a break and just kind of just back off from YouTube, guys. Because trust me when I say that if you spend all your time on the computer, guys, that the computer can bite back, guys. And you just need to learn to let go and experience the outside world. And then that'll help you give you inspiration to actually do more YouTube videos or whatever else happens. You basically take some stress off your shoulders and in general just make things easier for you. Trust me on this one guys, just walking away from something and then coming back to it completely gives you a whole new mindset and outlook on whatever it is you happen to be working on. Let's move along. Rule number nine, imitation and consistency. This one may confuse you a bit, so allow me to explain. There is not a single original idea under the sun, guys. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with you finding your favorite YouTuber, your favorite channel, and then taking their ideas or their concepts or whatever they may be doing, and then bringing that to your channel and making it your own. Matter of fact, I encourage this because it gives you a baseline, a, a base idea of what you may want for your channel. Let me give you an example. My two favorite YouTubers are Northern Lion and Geek and Sundry. Those are the two people that I was, well, the two organizations, whatever the hell you want to call them, that I was inspired by and how I formulated my channel around. They inspired me and I directly kind of wrapped the idea of my channel in my own things. I injected my own ideas into it, but those are the ideas that I wrap my channel around. The consistency aspect of things is where you want to be consistent with whatever it is you are doing. Putting out one video a day, either two videos a day, or whatever it is you may happen to be doing keep it consistent imitate and consistency it's really simplistic it's a very important aspect to YouTube is to have inspiration and an idea of where you're going and then stick to it that being said don't be afraid to try out new ideas as well though moving along rule number eight fact check we have all either been the victim or the perpetrator of this particular crime, guys, which is to know what it is you are talking about. And I cannot stress how important that is, whether it be gaming or makeup or you know cooking, anything you happen to be discussing on YouTube, make sure that you are well studied, that you know what it is you are discussing. Don't go around making crap up, guys, because someone will call you on it. And that is another important aspect to it. If you do make a mistake, and we all do because we're human, is that you own that mistake. Basically claim it, own it, and then correct it. If someone presents to you another piece of information that basically contradicts what you are, don't be the whatever guy. Prove them wrong or otherwise accept that you made a mistake and then apologize and then present the correct information. But before even that all happens, just be always sure of whatever it is you're talking about. Read, look up internet articles. The internet is a wonderful thing and a tool to discover information. So just make sure whatever it is you're doing, you present it clearly and as truthfully as that you are aware of. And if you don't and make a mistake, own it. 
Rule number seven, choose your allies wisely. Now remember guys, this is the internet we are talking about here, and not everybody on the internet has your best interests at heart. And when you first start a new YouTube channel, it'll all be very exciting and new, and when you start receiving feedback, that will also be very exciting and new. But you maybe also get offers and requests from you that you're not exactly sure about. And I encourage you, of course, to listen to those people, but also keep them at arm's length, because you do not know who has what in mind for your channel. Do you know who's offering you that partnership? Do they have a good reputation? Are they going to screw you over? Does that guy who wants to collaborate with you, do you know him? Does he have a, uh, going to make it a positive experience or is he going to make it a creepy weird one? Just being very careful with who and what you do things, guys, because once that damage is done, it's very hard to undo that damage. You may ruin friendships or start a fight, then bring negativeness into your channel that you don't necessarily want, or in general, lose control of your channel if you do things poorly. I've heard a lot of horror stories, guys. So what I'm trying to put forward here is be very careful with who you do what with in YouTube, guys. And don't be afraid to say no. But when you do say no, try to be as courteous and polite as possible, which leads me into my next rule. Rule number six, professionalism and marketing. Now, I don't care who you are or what you're doing, you are always going to want to represent yourself in a professional manner, even if it is just a hobby. For instance, take Mr. Peanut for example. The guy's wearing a top hat, a monocle, he has a cane, and he's a friggin' peanut. But it doesn't matter because he's always a professional, and I can't stress how important that is, especially when it comes to marketing. When you basically go into marketing your channel, which you're going to want to do either across Twitter or Facebook or whatever social media platform that you may choose, you want to do it professionally. Learn how to write a letter, learn how to be polite, learn how to talk to people. Because when you do that, you'll start receiving many benefits from this. You'll be taken more seriously. You may end up with more subscribers or followers or whatever it is you may have. You may gain friendships and contacts. There's a lot of good things from being a professional in everything that you do. Take it seriously and people will take it you seriously, essentially. Also, it helps to have a little bit of this, but you know, that you'll have that's a talent you'll have to develop on your own. But just remember, be a professional in everything that you do, no matter what the situation is, and people will take you seriously and respect you. Rule number five, confidence. Now guys, this is a rule I struggle with every day of my life, and I know there's a lot of you out there who struggle with this rule as well, just like me, guys. And I trust me when I say I know how it is you feel. The mind is a minefield of thoughts, and not all of them are you know, peachy, perky thoughts. And most of the time, we are our own worst enemy, thinking these horrible, negative things, guys. And what I'm trying to tell you is that when you have these doubts, when you have these feelings, they are normal. It's okay to think this way. But the important thing to do is to rise above these thoughts, to be confident, to be strong, to believe in your skills, to believe in yourself, to know that you can do these things. You don't want to be this guy. You want to be that guy. You want to be the strong, confident person who gets things done. And trust me, guys, you can do it. It's one of the hardest things you may do, but you can do it. And when you do it, you'll realize how easy it was and how much it'll build more confidence. It'll give you the strength to do whatever it is you want to do next, whether a project, a video, whatever. The point is, is be confident, guys. Know that have doubts are normal but you need to rise above them and be confident, guys. Rule number four, don't compare. Now guys, this goes back to that idiom, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. And I find myself guilty of this as well at some times. But basically, you don't want to compare yourself to people's successes and things that they've accomplished, guys, because nothing good will come of that. You'll begin questioning, you're like, why don't I have that? Why haven't I accomplished that? Why is it taking me so long to get to that point, guys? Well, that's them. That's not you. Don't compare yourselves to them, guys, because it'll only breed negativity in your mind and make you doubt yourself. So let me put this into perspective for you. The average theater has around 200 to 300 seats. If you have 100 subscribers, guys, that's a hundred seats in a theater watching your videos, guys. My channel only has about 240 subscribers, maybe at this point, guys. But again, let's put that into perspective. That means I have a theater's worth of people watching my content. 
I am so thankful for that. If I had a thousand people, that's more than three theaters worth of people watching whatever content you're putting out, guys. So what I'm trying to say is don't compare. You'll never live up to the standards of whatever's over the fence, guys. Be happy with what you have and appreciate what you have, guys. And most of all, remember who it is that got you there. Remember who is sitting in that theater gamers or your friends or whoever remember them because that brings me to my next rule rule number three community and don't be negative now this is a really simple rule to follow guys don't be a <clears throat> troll let's just use that word because it's pc and it won't offend anyone guys don't bring any kind of negativity into whatever community you're dealing with guys you're here to entertain you're here to uplift people you're here to make people feel good and better about themselves guys don't get into needless arguments don't start comment wars don't be a troll i have met so many amazing people doing this guys so many uh, developers i've worked with or other gamers or people i've learned from who have helped me grow and taught me things i have met so many awesome people doing this hobby guys and it's all because I approach them with respect and kindness and in friendship and professionalism. Remember that rule I was talking about earlier? Remember it because it's important. These people brought you to where you are and have helped lift you up to where you are now and they will continue to do so and you should do the same for them. Uplift others, help other YouTubers, help out other people in your community because they together will make you better, a better person, a better YouTuber better in general guys so just remember that guys no negativity and remember those who have helped you get where you are rule number two have fun remember this is a hobby guys this is something we are doing because it brings us joy and so many times people lose track of that remember that you plus whatever it is that you're doing whether that be youtubing uh, kayaking camping music whatever it is the hell it is you're doing it's supposed to equal fun you're supposed to be enjoying yourself you're supposed to be having a good time if you're not anymore and you're not enjoying this you may want to reconsider why you're doing it because guys when you do this when you're doing YouTube or whatever it is you're supposed to be doing in your especially it's your hobby it's supposed to be fun guys I cannot stress that enough have fun with whatever it is you're doing make sure you're having a good time and people will pick up on that people will hear that or see that or feel that and they will reciprocate they will have fun themselves and that's what this is all about so remember have fun rule number one are you ready for it guys are you excited are you sitting at the edge of your seat are you frothing at the mouth waiting for this rule well I hope you're ready for it because here it comes and patience patience is the number one rule guys in youtube in my opinion and in my own personal experiences nothing ever great was built overnight every person on youtube that you see who is successful or just in general life whoever is successful they worked for that it took time and sweat and effort to get to where they are now and you need to remember that nothing is going to happen overnight it takes time, it takes patience, it takes uh, consistency, it takes effort, guys. You need to just wait and have patience. Things will happen on their own. Relax, let the universe flow. Things will just happen, but you need to have patience for that to happen. You need to wait for it, and then great things will come, and then be ready to jump on the opportunity when it does come, guys. But it takes work, it takes effort, it takes learning, it takes growing, and it doesn't happen overnight, guys. So the number one rule of YouTube for me is patience, guys, and I hope you can understand that. If you've made it this far, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope that maybe i've reminded you or taught you a little something give you a little bit of insight into my life or into how i do things on youtube guys and all of these things that i've i've shared with you guys can be easily translated into real life guys these aren't just rules for youtube guys these could be rules for life and they're easily transferable guys i want to say thank you so much for making this a wonderful year on youtube guys none of this would have been possible without you the viewers or subscribers and the friends that i've made during doing all this guys so thank you so much guys and remember that all of this is possible because of you 
I might not have learned these things if it wasn't for you guys. And I might not know what I am capable of had I not started this journey a year ago, guys. So thank you again so much for watching, guys. It's been a wonderful year, guys, and I look forward to the next year. There will be some changes coming to the channel that I'll be announcing in another video coming soon, guys. And thank you again so much for watching, guys. See you next time.